What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to another very exciting video where we will reach the absolute maximum defense possible. Over 6,000 defense. Exactly today, one year ago, on October 1st, 2019, we made such a video and at the time we were able to reach 3,000 defense. In that video, I promised to you guys that if we hit 10,000 likes, we will make a follow-up video and I will explain the exact formula behind Monster Hunter World's defense calculation. Lastly, we will test these 6,000 defense against all of the supernova and signature attacks from the strongest monsters in the game. This will be an exciting one. But before that, a quick message from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Might and Magic Era of Chaos. The classic saga of Might and Magic returned last year as a new fantasy RPG on mobile devices. And for their new content update, live on September 29th, they've teamed up with Assassin's Creed for a one-month only Might and Magic vs. Assassin's Creed event, during which we can recruit Ezio di Torre and Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey as new heroes to command our armies. As they get transported into the world of Might and Magic, we get three new story chapters, 45 new stages, and new units to experience for free. Ezio's ultimate skill, Eagle Vision, significantly increases accuracy and critical hits. He comes with a four-man heavy damage assault unit. Are you Team Ezio or Team Cassandra? Personally, I'm Team Ezio because I love the old Assassin's Creed games. Let me know down below in the comments who of those two is your favorite one. If you download Might and Magic Era of Chaos this month, you will get access to a special in-game reward with some free items to help you unlock special units, artifacts, and most importantly, the two new assassins. You can download Might & Magic Era of Chaos now for free via the link in the video description. All of this footage here in this video is recorded on PS4. I will explain why it's only possible to get the highest defense on PlayStation. Furthermore, we choose one very specific team composition for this challenge. And that's one Insectlave, one Hunting Horn and two Palicos. The Hunting Horn and Palicos serve as support for the Insectlave player, who can buff himself additionally via the Kinsect. This is our Insectlave build, and as you can see, it consists of the full Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration armor, which is exclusive to PS4, and this is the reason why the highest defense can only be achieved on PlayStation. Five pieces of the Shield Weaver armor grant us the set bonus skill, Ancient Armory, which doubles our entire base defense. Each armor part comes with 170 defense. Let's have a look at our skills. We're rocking Defense Boost level 7, obviously for more defense. Thunder Attack level 5 and Resentment level 5 automatically come with the armor. Fire, Water, Ice, Thunder and Dragon Resistance level 3 not only give us more elemental defense, but each of those 5 skills also grants an additional plus 10 raw defense. With all of those 5 skills together, that's plus 50 raw defense. Heroics on level 3, it gives us plus 100 defense. Having the skill above level 3 only gives us more attack, but no more defense, so level 3 is all we need. Health boost and weakness exploit come with the armor. Power prolonger to extend the duration of certain defense buffs. It's especially useful for short buffs like the Kinsec buff. And lastly, Fortify will boost our defense by 30% when we faint two times. Glider Mantle will give us the extra required slots to fit in all of these skills. Our Insectlave Taroth Paralysis has a defense bonus of plus 140 and we also use full defense augmentations. Alright, we start with a base defense of 2275. Now we are going to add one defense buff after another until we reach the max amount. Right away at the beginning of the quest, we have to activate Fortify twice, so we switch to the full Safi armor with Fortify slotted in to be able to cart twice quickly with Wyvernheart. We repeat that process one more time until we can switch back to our Horizon Max defense build. Defense up large food and feline booster will give us plus 15 defense each. Now we need to activate the armor skill Heroics. A small barrel bomb removes the red portion of the HP bar once we are low enough so we don't uh, regenerate HP anymore and stay within the required amount to keep Heroics active. We do have a bit less HP than required in order to have some headroom in case one of the Palicos accidentally plays a healing song. But now comes the hardest part, getting two Palico defense large songs at the same time. Those defense large buffs stack, and those two large buffs turn to one defense XL buff, which gives a 1.2 multiplier, as opposed to the 1.15 multiplier from just a normal defense large song. 
basically the Palico Defense Song works exactly like the Hunting Horn Defense Song. The chance to get one of those Palico Defense large buffs with two cats is quite manageable, but to get both songs at the same time is only a very small chance and so on average you have to do this run here about 50 times until you get lucky. And remember, because of the Horizon Set bonus skill exclusive to PlayStation, we have to record on PS4. And obviously, there are no mods that guarantee the Palico to play a specific song on PlayStation. So this part here took a lot of time. But here we are lucky and get both Palicos to play the song we need, which is almost 600 more defense at this point. Next up is Hardshell Powder for plus 20 defense. Then by putting on the Glider Mantle, two skills Thunder Defense Level 3 and Dragon Defense Level 3 activate for another plus 20 defense. Now it's the time for the Hunting Horn Defense XL song, played by Dios. Large kicks in first with a 15% multiplier and XL with the whopping 20%. Now at 4371 defense. Now the Hunting Horn buff, Glider Mantle, Hardship Powder and the Palico Defense songs, all of them are only active for a certain short amount of time. So now we have to be fast. The yellow and white Kinsec buffs give us an additional 10% multiplier. And lastly, Deus eats an Adamant pill with wide range level 5 and that boosts us by a whopping 30%, bringing us from 4808 directly to 6178 defense. Ladies and gentlemen, we officially reached the highest possible defense value in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now before we test this stunningly high defense against all of the supernova and signature attacks to see how much damage we actually take, let's take a quick look behind the scenes to see and understand Capcom's mathematical formulas that bring defense calculation to life. And trust me, this is a very interesting topic because it almost feels like Capcom does not want us to be able to understand how this calculation works and how this game calculates the defense because oddly enough, defense calculation in Iceborne is very complicated. <laughs> And it took a lot of time to find out and break it down. Fortunately for us, Vicery did a lot of testing, so let me break down the calculation in the most easy way possible, so that even those of you who are sleeping during math class can follow. We start with our base defense of 1. It is actually impossible to have 0 defense. Every hunter always comes with 1 defense, even when fully naked. We add plus 850 defense from the 5 horizon armor pieces and plus 140 from our insect glaive. This gets us to 991 defense. And all of this combined is our base defense. This is very important to keep in mind moving forward. Remember that at the beginning of this video when I touched on the Ancient Armory set bonus skill from the Horizon Armor, this set bonus grants a 2 times defense multiplier, but it only actually applies to the base defense, meaning other defense buffs like Adam and Powder do not get multiplied by 2 from the Ancient Armory. There are several of those defense multipliers that only apply to base defense, and those are Defense Level 7 times 1.1, Hunting Horn Defense XL Song times 1.2, Palico Defense Large 2 times, that's times 1.2 again, Fortify times 1.3, and lastly Ancient Armory times 2. And all of this gets us to 4801.3344. It is very important to keep our decimals when continuing the calculation. We now add additional defense buffs such as Armor Charm plus 12, Armor Talon plus 18, Defense Food Large plus 15, Mega Armor Skin plus 25, and that gets us to 4151.3344. Now remember, we already added some of the defense multipliers before, but there's actually another different type of defense multipliers which is factored into the calculation only at this point, after the additional defense buffs. And this is part of the reason why this defense kick system by Capcom is very complicated to find out and to break down. It turns out Adam and Pill has the only defense multiplier that applies at this point, and that's the 1.3 multiplier from Adam and Pill that gets us to 5,396.73472. Now we have a second type of additional defense buffs. We can call them secondary defense buffs. They are not as good as the primary defense buffs because Adam and Pill does not apply to them anymore. That is Feel and Booster plus 15, Adam and Powder plus 20, Defense Level 7 plus 35, Elemental Resistance Defense plus 50, Heroics Level 3 plus 100. 
and all of this gets us to 5616.73472. And now lastly, there is the final defense multiplier, which applies to all of the entire defense value together that we have. And that is the Kinsec buff. Kinsec yellow and white times 1.1 on the entire defense. And because this one applies to all the defense, even though it only buffs by 10%, it makes for a really high defense increase of over 500. And this gets us to finally 6,178.408192. And now we can round down to 6,178 because 0.4 always gets rounded down in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. There you have it, guys. I don't think anybody ever broke this calculation down before on the internet, so I hope you found this very interesting, this little math session. Now that we know how this works, I'll need to explain one last detail before we put this build to a test. The Horizon Armor is even better than you might have thought. On top of the 2 times base defense multiplier that the Agent Armor Reset Bonus gives us, it also gives us damage reduction and knockback protection, which is similar to the Rocksteady effect. But the Rocksteady Mantle, it only gives you a damage reduction of 30%. But the Horizon Armor reduces damage even more than 30%. It's somewhat between 30 and 50% of damage reduction. It's insane. But only 4 hits are being absorbed by Ancient Armory before this skill loses all of its 3 effects. It loses the 2 times defense, the damage reduction and the knockback protection. They will all be gone. Also, the damage reduction from Rocksteady and the Ancient Armory does not stack. So using Rocksteady Mantle on top of the Horizon Armor simply overrides the damage reduction of Ancient Armory and instead it grants the regular 30% damage reduction only. So that means we will only be ever using Rocksteady Mantle when we have to tank a certain monster attack, which causes too many separate individual hits so that the Horizon Armor wouldn't even give us knockback protection anymore. But for most of the attacks, we can use Ancient Armory. So now let's go ahead and test these 6,000 defense against all of the strongest monster attacks in the game. Also, keep in mind that Amadeus recorded all of these runs together with Michi to buff him with this hunting horn. But you can't see him on the UI, so I also wanted to give him a shout out for spending countless of evenings to record all of these moments for you guys. So thanks to Michi and Deus. So now before I'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the supernova attacks, I do want to quickly remind you that if you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe to us. Because only about 30% of our viewers are actually subscribed to us. And if you really, really like what we do, you can also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our next uploads. With that being said, enjoy the action.
ですかそんな。あるしますねもうね。Pretty good <笑>。<笑>攻撃方法が思い浮かばん<笑>もう骨がどこにあるかもわからないですね<笑>出されへんこれ見たことあります<笑>最後のやつが一番うまかった<笑><笑>